Hey guys, welcome to Sokka's Tech Spot. In this video, we're gonna check out the Aloon wireless charger. Now this is the cheapest wireless charger I could find on Amazon. It's rated at five volts, one amp. There's also a five volts, two amp version of this. I uh, just wanted to check it out because I wanna see how good the cheapest wireless charger really is. There's probably cheaper ones than this on eBay or whatever from China, but this one, Amazon, uh, $9 is what, is what it was. The two amp version is uh, $14.99, so $15. Um, so go ahead and check it out, link in the description if you want to check it out yourself and get one. Um, so let's go ahead and look, take a look at it. So uh, on the front, you just see some branding and all that. On the back, we got wireless charger, wireless charging pad, starts the charger, uh, put the phone on the pad, pretty simple distance, three to seven millimeters, that's not too bad. So I'm guessing you can get a pretty thick case on this one. My phone does have a case, so we'll check with and without. Uh, so package contains the wireless charger, micro USB cable, operational instructions, and that's pretty much it. Unboxing knife. There we go. So there's the charger, and yeah, there it goes. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's cool that they give you micro USB cable. I didn't think they did, but here we are. I did bring my own. It's a a little better quality than this one but we'll use the one that it came with and here's the charger itself boot paper all right so it's got this non-slip grip over here this red ring around here it's got little pads on the bottom too you could take off these little uh, protectors to get the sticky pads going so there you have it output five volts one amp a little more branding. Let's let's try, let's try it out. Let's see how good this thing actually is. So if you didn't notice, they don't give you a power supply. I'm going to be using this ASUS power supply. This one's rated at five volts, two amps. So um, that should be plenty to power this thing up, which is what it requires. If you look over here, input five volts, two amps to get that output of five volts, one amp. So let's go ahead and give it a try. By the way, you can click here to view a video I made about charger ratings to get more information. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I don't know if you could catch it in the video, but there's a blue glow that's coming in, or there's a blue glow flashed. Now we have a red light smack dab in the center. Can you see that? There you go. Red light, let's try it out. So I got my Nexus 6 over here. Let's go ahead and try to charge this thing. There we go. The whole reason I got this is because I had the Nexus 5 wireless charger or the Nexus wireless charger that they sold a couple years ago, but it doesn't work with the Nexus 6. So uh, I'm kind of forced to find another way to wireless charge if I do want to wireless charge. This seems to work pretty well. Let's go ahead and put the case on, see how that works out. So this case is pretty thick. Uh, there are thicker cases, but this should be a good demonstration of how well it works with the case. All right. It works with the case. So with the Nexus 6, you gotta position it, maybe a smack dab in the middle, seems to work fairly well. Uh, let's see what kind of rating we're getting. So I'm gonna open up Ampere, and we'll see what the charging rating is at. Okay, so it's on the low side. Uh, we're getting about 400 milliamps. Um, yeah, so that's equivalent to about a 500 milliamp charger. Uh, it's rated at one amp, but we're getting about half, essentially. So this is good for charging overnight if you don't wanna uh, have it plugged in for whatever reason uh, easy access in the morning just grab it and go the show charge overnight it's going to charge fairly slow so don't expect too much if you do want a faster charge you might want to look into a quick charge capable wireless charger or the 2 amp version of this out of curiosity let's measure it without the case on so not much different about 400 range 420 for fun, I thought I'd bring my Nexus 5 into the mix. Let's see if there's a difference between the Nexus 6, Nexus 5. At this point, you can probably already close out the video, but if you're still sticking with me, we're gonna give this a go. First of all, see that it works. Let's open up Ampere. All right. And you can't see it in the video, but it's glowing blue while it's charging. So as you can see, the Nexus 5 also getting 450, 400 milliamps. 
it's nothing too special there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Once again, link in the description if you want to get one for yourself. And you can now also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. I'll be using this and uh, testing it out over time. And uh, if you have any specific questions, I'll uh, try to answer it to the best of my ability. All right, guys, see you in the next one.